How's it going, people? Gotta try out a new treat. Hemp ale. An all-natural brown ale. Out of Humboldt. Who'd have thunk? Not a lot to drink to in this chapter, but this one is worth checking out. This one illustrates how Mormon elders, how the missionaries can win people over to this improbable bullshit. Chapter 32 is one of those weapons they use. Well, I'm going to pour one of these and then I'll have some scotch. And then we're going to see just how they're so successful. Because I remember this chapter. I believe this is one of the chapters the, the elders told me to look over. Of course, not a whole the whole chapter, just a verse here and there. We'll start off with the masthead. The poor hearken to the message of salvation. Alma's commendation and discourse. Faith developed by desire to believe. Now that's the part that interests me. Yeah, you see, you have to desire to believe. If you are waiting to be sold and you've got a stiff neck and a hard heart and a blind mind. <laughs> All right, one. And it came to pass, hang on, little uh, single malt, and it came to pass that they did go forth and began to preach the word of God unto the people, entering unto their, into their synagogues and into their houses. Yea, and even they did preach the word in their streets. Two, and it came to pass, that's why I didn't put this away. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a tough chapter. All the drinks are in the beginning. And it's some very interesting shit. This one, it really is interesting. Especially to atheists. This one even beats Cory Whore. Alright. That's it for those. It came to pass that after much labor among them, they began to have success among the poor class. That usually works. Even Jim Jones raked them in. <sighs> Poor class of people, for behold, they were cast out of the synagogues because of the coarseness of their apparel. I wonder how often they washed. I mean, confined quarters. I mean, well, you know, even the Mormon, I mean... Mormon church, you got to dress up pretty nice to go in there. I bet you wouldn't be well received if you were all grubby and smelly. Three. Therefore, they were not permitted permitted to enter into the synagogues to worship God, being esteemed as filthiness. Take a fucking bath. Take it. Have a baptism with a bar of soap. Whatever. Therefore, they were poor, yea, they were esteemed by their brethren as dross. Therefore, they were poor as to things of the world, and also they were poor at heart. Now, dross is like the, I think when you smelt silver, it's a, the slime that they don't need. You get the silver slime. Ooh. That's. I think they use this dross a few times here. Uh, 
Yeah, they were poor as the things of the world. And also, they were poor in heart. Four. Now, as Alma was teaching and speaking unto the people upon the hill Oneida, there came a great multitude unto him, who were those of whom we have been speaking, of whom were poor in heart, as you were speaking. I thought he was basically saying, yeah, we don't need to go on that, as I just told you. No, no. Now we're going to do it all over again. <laughs> yeah, written on gold, right. Five. And they came unto Alma, and the one who was the foremost among them said unto him, Behold, what shall these my brethren do? For they are despised of all people because of their poverty. Yea, and more especially by our priests, for they have cast us out of our synagogues, which we have labored abundantly to build with our own hands, and they have cast us out because of our exceeding poverty, and we have no place to worship our God. And behold, what shall we do? Uh, six. <laughs> At first. Mm. Intriguing. And now, when Alma heard this, he turned him about, his face immediately towards him. And he beheld with great joy, for he beheld that that their afflictions had truly humbled them, and that they were in a preparation to hear the word. Interesting, huh? They're just getting warmed up. Seven. Therefore, he did say, say no more to the other multitude, because he had a receptive audience. That's all they think about. This one's receptive. It's worth our time to work on them. More money for the Sky Daddy. <sighs> Seven. Therefore he did say no more to the other multitude. But he stretched forth his hand, and he cried unto those whom he beheld, or who were truly penitent, and said unto them, Eight, I behold that ye are lowly in heart. And if so, blessed are ye. You really are a prick, Alma Jr. I'm glad you're suffering. It's so fucking inhuman. Inhumane. Nine, behold, thy brother hath said, what shall we do? For we are cast out of our synagogues, and we cannot worship our God. As he said, uh, wow, uh, I can... Yeah, back in verse 5, now in verse 9, we're repeating it all over again. From Alma Jr.'s point of view. 10. Behold, I say unto you, do ye suppose that ye cannot worship God? save it be in your synagogues only? Eleven. And moreover, I would ask, do ye suppose that ye must worship God only once in a week? You slacker. Be afraid. <laughs> or not. Twelve. I say unto you, it is well that ye are cast out of your synagogues, that ye may be humble, and that ye may learn wisdom. For it is necessary that ye should learn wisdom. For it is because that ye are cast out, 
that ye are despised of your brethren because of your exceeding poverty. So we, we you all got that by now, right? They, they don't got any money in there. And apparently they don't take baths very often. That ye are brought to a lowliness of heart. For ye are necessarily brought to be humble. Thirteen. And now, because ye are compelled to be humbled, blessed are ye. For a man, sometimes, if he is compelled to be humble, seeketh repentance. Yeah. And now, surely, whosoever repenteth shall find mercy. And he that findeth mercy and endureth to the end, the same shall be saved after you're dead. It's worth it, just in case. Right? Fourteen. And now, as I said unto you, that because ye were compelled to be humble, yea, ye were blessed. Do ye not suppose that they are more blessed who truly humble themselves because of the word? Major guilt trip there, Alma Jr. What the fuck? Yes, a little smack down, just in case there's a speck of pride left. You slime. You nothing. Fifteen. Yea, he that truly humbleth himself and repenteth of his sins <laughs> and endure it to the end <sighs> the same shall be blessed yea much more blessed than they who are compelled to be humbled because of their exceeding poverty yeah so we doubt your sincerity do you really love big brother sixteen Therefore, blessed are they who humble themselves without being compelled to be humble. All right, message received. Fuck you. <laughs> or rather, in other words, blessed is he that believeth in the word of God and is baptized without stubbornness of heart. Oops. <laughs> Yea, without... Being brought to know the word? You believe it before you know what it is? Really? That sounds like Party P. Pratt. <laughs> the home-wrecking polygamous martyr <laughs> who got martyred by a jealous husband who, whose life he destroyed and whose family he stole. So fuck Party P. Pratt. <laughs> But blessed is he too, according to this shit. <laughs> Without being brought to know the word, or even compelled to know, before they will believe. Uh, no, I need a sign, or I need some fucking proof. All I got is testimonies. That's why I think of that. Yea, there are many who do say, If ye wilt show unto us a sign from heaven, then we shall know of a surety that we shall believe. What's wrong with that? That's called reason. 18. Now I ask, is this faith? No, it's reason. <gasps> and reason works most of the time. At least it's in the real world where shit actually matters. 
I mean, come on, you guys are living Dungeons and Dragons, Christian style or Muslim style or whatever the fuck style. <laughs> You're all alone and life's unfair. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Behold, I say unto you, nay. Yeah, that isn't faith. You're right. For if a man knoweth a thing, he hath no cause to believe. Now that's really interesting. For he knoweth it. So, what's the point of believing in something you already know about, right? You've got to, like... Do you have, a, like, pet rabbit named Harvey, and he's about six feet tall? Nobody can see him? Just wondering. <sighs> Great movie, by the way. Uh, yeah, rabbit named Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> Nineteen. And now... How much more cursed is he that knoweth the will of God and doeth it not than he that only believeth or only hath cause to believe and falleth into transgression. Wow, how could that happen? This must be old Beelzebub. 20. Now, of this thing ye must judge. Behold, I say unto you, that it is on the one hand, even as it is on the other. Somebody fucking knit that into a nice wall homily. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> That's fucking profound. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's been a hard day. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't even know if that was funny. I'm sorry. 20. Now of this thing ye must judge. Behold, I say unto you that it is on the one hand, even as it is on the other. And it shall be unto every man according to his work. Really? Make up your mind. No wonder these Mormons are so fucking confused. They just bury it deep, though. I like them, actually. I like Mormons. I do. 21. And now, as I said concerning faith, faith is not to have a perfect knowledge of things. Because you're in imagination land. Physics don't ap apply in Marvel Comics. <laughs> Radiation gives you superpowers. <laughs> yeah, that's what belief and faith is all about. <laughs> uh, faith is not to have a perfect knowledge of things. Therefore, if ye have faith, ye hope for things which are not seen, which are true. So we're paraphrasing one of Paul's brain farts. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones. I think it's Hebrews 11.1, 1, I think. For faith is the substance of things... Unseen, the evidence of things hopeful. Fuller. The evidence of things hopeful. The evidence of things hoped for. <laughs> for faith is the substance of things unseen, the evidence of things hoped for. Or the other way around, something like that. Yeah, it's called wishing. And. <laughs> I gotta break this video in two. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will pick this up. This one's going long. Fuck that shit. 
Uh, 22 is the next one. All right, I'll see you in 22. All right? 22 is important. 22 is the money. So I'll see you then. And I'll start at this song, too. Peace. The fuck? Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. If you're not watching the next video, but you're missing out if you do. Pass up on that. Goodbye. I'm doing the next one right now.